All around us, a bad weather front. In front of us, the Porsche 718 Boxster. Is the weather a bad omen? At least the acquaintance with some of the details of this Boxster sparked a small roll of thunder amongst Porsche lovers. But we won't be stopped, not even by the weather. Because the tension is rising, the car is almost completely new compared to its predecessor. New generation, new name, new technology. A six-cylinder natural aspiration engine in box construction. That is the Porsche according to purists. But they must be brave now because that will change from now on with this series. In the 718 Boxster, only four cylinders are at work. One has to be honest, a few have already turned up their noses when they heard that we are now putting in a four-cylinder instead of a six-cylinder that everyone has loved with this sound, and now just four cylinders. But I would like to compare the car a bit to motorcycles. Yes, there are very powerful vehicles there with four cylinders, with three cylinders, with two cylinders, and each has its own character. They are all good somehow, and that's the same here. The four-cylinder is of course a bit different in its character. It sounds different. It sounds really powerful, maybe a bit lower frequency. It's just due to the number of cylinders and the ignition sequence, but it has its own charm. Yes, it sounds somewhat different, but no matter whether four or six cylinders, turbulence is definitely not necessary in this car. As soon as it stops drizzling, the cover comes off. This can be done within only nine seconds and up to a speed of 50 kilometers an hour. Porsche offers the entry level models as well as the 911 as an open drive, and that for about half the money. Customers are presumably slightly younger than with the classic 11 series. Nevertheless, some buyers will still know the name of the 718 Boxster from its active competition time. In the 1950s, the legendary 550 Spider ruled the world racetracks. Its official successor is the Porsche 718. Both cars are successful racing cars and have a common denominator with the new Boxster, the four-cylinder Boxster middle engine. The legendary 550 Spider. We have not really used the tradition of the name in the vehicle to date. But we have a tradition. We have a story with the 550 in the 50s and the beginning of the 60s with the 718, which has also been quite successful, and we've said it is the perfect fit. Often, it also wins against much high-powered competitors and achieves success in Le Mans, Sebring, or the Nürburgring. Its look is unique. The 718 Boxster is clearly lifted compared to its direct predecessor. In addition to the revised front, it gets new fenders and sills. The side air intakes not only look sexy, they provide the oxygen-hungry turbocharger with sufficient air. particularly striking, the rear work rear with the extraordinary lighting design. In addition, the spoiler. And the three-dimensional Porsche lettering catch the eye. The gaze continues in the direction of the cab. 
there are no surprises. Porsche typical, the seats look almost tailor-made. The sports steering wheel fits optimally in the hand. And the 718 is available as a manual change or optionally with a dual clutch transmission. The center console is still full of familiar buttons. And the multimedia system has been reworked and made much more modern. Practical advantage compared to the 911, there are two storage spaces, front 150 liters and rear an additional 125 liters. That means you cannot see the engine. For a long time, the Boxster was called the housewife's Porsche. That has changed. Yes, I think a lot has contributed to this image change of the whole series. Actually, we have vehicles like the very powerful Boxster Spider and the GT4, which also really emphasize the performance of this whole series, also regarding sports car aspects, and are perhaps extreme. But that makes a very positive impression on the whole series, and in my opinion, it now gets the image it has always earned. Because at Porsche internally, we are just as happy with a Boxster or a Cayman as we are with a 911. The Cayman is the coupe version of the series, and for the first time, this and the Boxster are on the same level. So far, the Cayman has been more powerful. The two-liter four-cylinder of the basic version achieves 300 horsepower. In the S version, a 2.5-liter engine has 350 horses jumping. 420 Newton meters maximum torque drive the Boxster and Cayman S forward. This is 50 or 60 more than the respective predecessor. The 718 Cayman is now laid lower. With the same power, it costs about 2,000 euros less than the convertible. So far, this was different. Time to drive the Cayman. We go to the racetrack at Malmö in Sweden. For this, it has a decisive advantage. Yes, the mid-engine is, of course, actually the classic concept for the sports car, and especially now on narrower racetracks with somewhat slower curves. This balanced weight distribution, which the mid-engine brings when compared to the rear engine with the 911, brings better handling. And it is just more neutral, and basically works on not really super fast tracks extremely well. What makes sense in Formula One or LMP1 cars, namely the mid-engine, is also used at entry level. But not only the nearly optimal weight distribution due to the drive concept make the Cayman race ready. The entire suspension components were further developed in the 718 to increase the vehicle dynamics. The new spring damper tuning significantly reduces pitch and roll movements. Optionally, there is also a 20 mm lower sports chassis. The braking system was adapted to the higher power and the steering was translated more directly. The result is that this Cayman is super confident and precise over the tight course, is good on the throttle and conveys the necessary driving pleasure precisely in the sports mode plus. It would easily drive away from its own predecessor. The 
close family ties between Cayman and Boxster are evident from all perspectives. And even without an open roof, you feel comfortable in the 718 Porsche. In everyday life, the turbo engine offers a decisive advantage. The full torque of 420 newton meters is already available in the Cayman S starting from 2000 revolutions. This means that it is not necessary to constantly rotate upwards as with the six cylinder naturally aspirated engine in order to be Porsche compliant and still relaxed. From about 3000 revolutions, the most favorable Porsche again then pushes forward. The full power is available at 6,500 revolutions. The S also has a turbocharger with so-called variable turbine geometry. And as a result, the optimum exhaust gas quantity is directed to the turbine wheel at each speed range. Thus, the efficiency can be optimized and, for example, the turbocharger can be reduced. A dynamic plus. The Cayman is perhaps the car that appeals a bit more to the sports car driver. There, the coupe is actually preferred. A simple concept, physically. The coupe is, of course, much stiffer than an open vehicle because it basically has the roof on and therefore sports-oriented customers are a bit more fixed on the Cayman. For everyday life and enjoying the sun, the Boxster is better. Yes, the 718 is different and yes, it is unfamiliar. But if you are interested in the new concept and don't hold on too much to old values, you can have fun with the Porsche 718 Boxster and came in on the track as well as on public roads. Despite entry-level model and four-cylinder, it is, and remains, a Porsche.